Hello, this is Tim coming to you from the terrible roads of Australia. You are watching Trucker Josh with his best mate Diesel. Enjoy the show. All right, here we go. All showered up. Looking good. Got my good sweater on. Got my good pants on. Was that the brakes or something? Oh, it's just the brakes. I thought someone was knocking on my car. This thing's falling apart already. It's all a go-kart. <laughs> all right, let's, uh, let's get out like a breakfast wrap or something from McDonald's over there. And let's, let's go to Edmonton. It's about an hour and a half drive. So we got our groceries first because we can park at West Edmonton Mall and the natural temperature outside will keep all of our food cold. So that's good. I would rather risk people stealing my groceries than stealing the Christmas gifts I bought for people I love. So uh, we went to get our groceries here at Walmart first and uh, we're on the south west side of Edmonton. We're about to go to West Edmonton Mall. It's already four o'clock so sun's going down so quick that it makes it seem like it's a lot later than it is. Just gonna set my GPS here. No, not to Walmart Supercenter. I already went there. We wanna go to West Edmonton Mall. 170th Street something something. There it is. Okay, so we're about 17 kilometers away. Okay. So I'm just gonna put this GPS down here. And that will guide me. If I can get it to sit. Can I see it there? I wish there was like a ledge I could put this on somewhere. Hmm. Now we'll figure it out. Let's go to the mall. That's not a phrase you'd hear me say that often. <laughs> I hate malls. the water park over there we're gonna go and park in here somewhere I don't know where to park here this mall is huge what did I tell you about my camera always always triggers my phone look at that it's all one big mall wow Fantasyland Hotel oh, that sounds interesting find a place to park and find our way inside there we go found a spot someone pulled out just as we were coming on it's pretty much the only way you can find a spot around here apparently because everybody is Christmas shopping just like Trapper Josh I wonder if that's the main entrance up there I see an entrance over here this can't be the main entrance this isn't very fancy Wow. Oh, it smells that it smells a lot like marriage of the Juana here again. Very strong. Yikes. Alright, well, we found our way in.
a few years ago, this roller coaster derailed. I think someone died. But I'd still go on it. Britt's gonna see this video before Christmas, so you'll have to wait, just like her. <laughs> I think she's gonna be really happy with it. I don't know, I'm happy with it. I think it was good, I found what I was looking for. And I found the, the right exit where I parked. That's amazing. We parked somewhere close by here. Over there, I think. Yep, because there's that entrance up there. I think we're around here, right behind this van. <laughs> there we are in our little go-kart. Look at this thing. It's actually a really nice little car. Just, it would never work around our property though. We'd get stuck everywhere. Yeah. Oh man. Just about sitting on the ground. Whew. Still that new car smell though. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. All right. Hyundai! Start up for me. Come on. Aha! Hello! Konnichiwa! Wait, that's Japanese, right? That's Honda. How do you say hello in Korean? Somebody tell me in the comments down below. Hyundai's Korean. Cool. Well, we're gonna go back to the truck now. Check on Diesel. Walk on, uh, walk on him. We're gonna check on Diesel and we're going to walk him for a while. Get him out of the truck. And then we're gonna go return this car and then walk back to the truck. It's another 45 minute walk back yet once we get there. And then, then we'll uh, go to bed, I guess. Tomorrow morning, well, tomorrow at 10 a.m. we have to unload. So we don't have to get up first thing in the morning, but what's the time now? Six o'clock. This mall is amazing. Like even me as a dude who hates malls and you know, malls are 99% geared towards women, right? And that's, that's how it is. But this mall was actually pretty cool. I mean, they got that amusement park. They got the water park. They got that little indoor mini golf course. I like mini golfing. They got the indoor ice rink. I like skating. I used to play hockey for like almost 10 years, I think. It was nine years I played hockey. Really cool. I really wish they had this in Winnipeg. You know, they had rumors of uh, building something like this in Winnipeg. We got indoor water park and stuff. I don't think it would have an amusement park, but something like this. And of course, they went back on it and said, no, actually, it's not going to happen. Of course, it's not. Nothing cool happens in Winnipeg. Except the Jets. That was pretty cool. We got our NHL team back, at least. It's like the one cool thing to happen in Winnipeg. <laughs> oh, and we won the Grey Cup this year. But anyone outside of Canada doesn't care. It's not like the the NFL. What do you win in the NFL? The great, the great cup is CFL. Stanley Cup is NHL. Those are the two cups you want to win if you're Canadian. Those are the two big ones. NFL. What do they win? I know MLB is a World Series, even though it's only United States and one team in Canada, but it's a World Series. Uh, basketball. NBA is what? Oh, I don't even know. I don't watch NBA and I don't watch NFL. I don't even watch CFL, but. Everyone keeps talking about it. And Winnipeg, our team won the Grey Cup this year. So, hey, we're the best. And I'm not just saying that because I'm from there. We're, we're actually the best.
Stopped at the truck, dropped off all my stuff, spent some time with Diesel. He was really happy to see me. I was happy to see him. Didn't really want to leave again, but I have to bring the car back. I'll park it back here where we found it. That was good. So I filled it up with gas. We used about 20 bucks of gas. Yeah. This thing's really good on fuel. We were averaging about seven liters per 100 kilometers. And that's pretty good. Now, which spot were we in again? I think it was this spot, right? Wasn't that the spot? I think that was the spot. I love that all vehicles now come with a backup camera. That is awesome. It does help a lot so that you don't like hit the curb or something back up too far and there we go it was fun how many of you drive a Hyundai good cars good cars it's just this would not work where where I live and it would get stuck everywhere it's way too low to the ground way too light way too small it took me a little while to, to realize, well not realize, but to get used to the two wheel drive again, the front wheel drive. You just sit there and spin the whole time. Uh, but Oh well, it was fun. It did its purpose and uh, we got all the shopping done. Now it's time to take the 45 minute walk back to the truck and get ready for bed. And so begins the journey back to the truck. 45 minutes. Maybe even quicker this time because I probably won't get distracted by a deer, but you never know. Maybe we'll see a moose. You never know. I don't mind walking. You know, I try to do this every day. Like I said, beginning of the day, I wish they sort of had a pickup drop off service, which they don't, but it's okay that they don't. I like to get my walk in every day, anyways. And can do that and bring the car back at the same time so it's okay good exercise so all together we would have walked seven kilometers today three and a half here three and a half back an hour and a half of walk a little more than i usually do per day but that's okay because we split it up and it's not too cold definitely colder now than it was before because the sun's gone down when i brought the car back the dashboard there said it was only minus 10 Celsius. So, that's not too cold. Might be for you, <laughs> but up here, that's not bad at all. Well, one good thing about walking home, after the sun's gone down, you get to see everybody's Christmas trees in their windows. And all their Christmas lights. When I'm home for the Christmas week, Britt and I, we want to go drive through the Festival of Lights in Winnipeg, which is like a drive-through display of Christmas lights. Then after that, we want to go and, uh, well, I want to go. She agreed that she'd like to go too. So I guess we want to go and just tour around Winnipeg. Maybe go through a few wealthier areas, richer areas and, uh, <laughs> see all the different Christmas lights in all the houses. See who's got the best display. Christmas lights aren't cheap, man. We learned that this year. Got their Christmas tree in their window too. See that? I love this season. You got a Christmas tree too? I well, you got some Christmas lights at least. So Britt and I, that's why we want to keep adding on every year. One day we want to have a massive Christmas display to set up, right? To display. Because lights ain't cheap, because we want LED lights, right? They use a lot less energy and they last longer. And they, they shine brighter and they don't fade. Usually. No Christmas tree, but I see this stuff. Oh yeah, there's a Christmas tree. I saw their Christmas tree already too. 
Everybody's got Christmas trees. You got your Christmas tree set up? A few houses down there, really nicely decorated. So did I tell you guys how much that rental cost? If you guys are wondering, if you're from another country maybe, wondering how much it costs to rent a car here. The car I rented from Red Deer here, it was about $35 for the day. That's for a 24 hour period. And uh, about $35, $40 for insurance. And the insurance covers any stone chips or cracked glass, cracked windshields, which is important this time of year because there's lots of salt on the roads that big trucks like me kick up at you. So you wanna be covered for that. And it covers or gives you overall car insurance if you get rear-ended or if you get into an accident or you know you total the thing. I think the deductible is like 300 bucks as opposed to if you don't buy that $40 insurance, you're on the hook for everything. <laughs> for both vehicles so it's important to get that so $35 for the day and $40 for the insurance so it came out to $75 which would be a little over maybe 60 bucks American somewhere in there it's pretty affordable I think it was worth it and it has well that gives you unlimited mileage so I put on about 325 kilometers and that was no problem. It's all included. A little bit of weights to go yet. Uh oh. Somebody dropped their animal crackers. That's tragic. Oh, and we're back. Yep, I was definitely colder walking back than walking there during the day. <laughs> We're okay. We're okay. Weasel's right over there. <laughs> 